Holy crap, look at the size of this box. What on earth have I just ordered from China? Hey, hey, YouTubers and lovers of budget cars and bikes. Welcome to the latest video on the CBR 1100 Super Blackbird series. As you can see, we have got a rather large box just arrived literally today. So I'm going to make this video for you right away. It's an unboxing video. I've never done anything like this on the channel before, as I'm sure you know, if you've been a subscriber for a while. Um, but I did want to share this with you because obviously this is, I'm assuming this is the fairing kit for the CBR 1100 Super Blackbird bird project bike um, I'm hoping you've seen those videos already if not go back through the uh, catalog I'll try to make it into a little mini series and then you can just click through whichever ones you want to watch um, but after around about five weeks these are finally arrived I'll talk to you all about the ordering process and uh, all that kind of nonsense after we've done the unboxing but I literally as you can see have just arrived uh, have just received it rather um, <laughs> it's uh, it's a big box I didn't actually expect it to be this big it's had to come into my spare bedroom because there's nowhere else to bloody put it this is where I keep all my crap as you you can see um <laughs> it's almost the size of the bed look huge big box um, and obviously because it's going to have two side fairings the nose cone the mud guard the rear fairing and i think a few other little bits and bobs in there as well but as you can see it's a bloody big box um i'm going to probably set you up on tripod for this one and as i said and as you can see it's not been opened you will come through this little journey with me on this as we do it as i promised in the um in the opening to these videos or this video series i wanted you to have kind of follow me through all of this so if you decide to go through this whole get yourself a new fairing um you'll know exactly what to expect and i really hope this uh, this kind of helps you guys out um so we will continue i'll set the tripod up and we will continue in a second all right so as i said guys we're going to open up this box together effectively um it's just arrived from china it's been about five weeks and um 28 days or 28 working days of that was actually waiting for them to receive the order mold the fairings uh paint them sticker them and send me some photographs uh for me to kind of confirm that i liked what i saw in that respect and before they sent it out now apparently they did send well i know they did send me an email about a week before i contacted them to ask where it all was so it took about four weeks and they did say look it might take another month for you to receive it because we don't know how long it's going to take to get to your country etc etc but to be fair to them this is monster fairings by the way in china um to be fair to them a week after they contacted me to tell me it was all ready here's the box i can't argue with that um collection date here it says oh no sorry that's from parcel force there's probably some gump all around here if i can find it i'll refer refer back to that but for now we're going to get the razor blade out and we're going to have a little look and see what we've got in this box as i said you'll be coming along on this journey with me um and as you can see i haven't opened this box so let's have a little look and see what we can find i've been waiting for this if you've considered buying fairings for your bike um eh, like i did basically you'll probably see that there's lots and lots and lots um, for sale on ebay now they are cheaper it has to be said there's you know you can buy an entire fairing for like i think 350 quid off ebay from various companies but i did hear a lot of crappy stories about that and it seemed to me that um the most highly recommended ooh, this is our work. This is the most highly recommended out of all the fairing companies was a company called Monster Fairings. The Cycle Cruiser has had some of them. Um, a couple of others I can't remember the names of now anyway. But uh, they got some good reviews. So that's where I went. It was 540 quid or somewhere around those lines. But there's always a discount code. I just googled um, discount code for Monster Fairings and I got an extra 60 quid off I think. So all told this has cost me 480 quid shipped from china now bear in mind yes i know i probably could have got the original fairings repainted um and put back on and fixed and all the rest of it for around about 500 quid but this was a whole experience i wanted to try all this out see what the score was um you know because if i'm gonna buy new uh, at the same price as repairing old i may as well buy new anyway i digress let's get back into this little bad boy or these little bad boy bits i'm not quite sure I think these are the heat shields that go on the lower part of the fairings. Could be wrong, but I'm guessing that's what that is. So that's the first thing out of the box. Um, this is a bit hibbly for goody guys, because I've got you up on a tripod and I'm trying to show you the best I can here in the spare room because it's such a big bloody box. They also do give you a screen as well. 
if you want it. I mean, I didn't ask for it, but it came as part of the package. So that'll be the first thing we actually unwrap in that respect. So let's have a look at this screen. Oh, it's a smoked screen. That's cool. I like that. I do like a smoked screen. The quality looks really good, actually, guys. I have to say, it's all blacked out on this edge here. I'm hoping I can, because I can't see the camera, so <laughs> I'm hoping you can see this. Um, it's all blacked out on this edge here, and you can see through this little panel here. So that's the first part of it out, as it were. What I'll do is, after I've unpacked it, I'll uh, lift the camera up again, and uh, we'll have a look at it all laid out on the spare bedroom bed. Some more packaging. Very well packed, has to be said. Now, what else have we got? You'll have to bear with me, guys, because I'm literally doing this ad hoc in that respect. What's this now, then? This. I don't have a clue what that is. Oh, I think it's the bit that goes uh, where the exhausts are. I'm assuming, so I'm hoping you can see that. I think that's the bit that sneaks, snucks, snicks, <laughs> that sneaks down um, just behind the front wheel. I'm assuming that's what it is. It looks like it needs a little bit of bending because it's been kind of bent back, obviously in transit. Hmm, not sure about that bit. We'll throw that on the bed for now and we'll check that out again in a minute. I'm trying to pull this lot out without kind of damaging anything uh, because I don't know how this is all packaged. Let's get this out. Now this, I'm assuming, is the rear, as in the seat cowl. Let's open this up and have a little look. This is going to be a little bit of a long video, guys, but uh, as I said, I wanted to take you through the journey with me. Um, if you're not interested, I terribly apologise, but uh, you know, I'm sure some of you are, because I'm sure some of you have considered getting a fare for your bike. So I'm, I'm really hoping this does help you out oh, at my expense of having to lean over an old bed. <laughs> right. Bear with, bear with, let's have a look, see what's going on here. Wow, that colour, look at that colour, wow, that's amazing. Get rid of all this nonsense here. As I said, at the end of all this, I'll lay it all out on the bed, I'll have a good look around, and I'm hoping you can see everything in here that you need to see. Oh, Bennett, oh, now I've dropped the bloody razor blade. So, this bit at the end here has been a bit of a bugger. So just bear with me, guys. As I said, it's the first time I've done this. So this is the tail section. Wow, look at that colour. Isn't that amazing? That's awesome. And it's got all the um, all the decals on here as well that you would expect to see. Let's have a look at the underside here. Yeah, that's 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 okay. A few little indiscretions here and there. But these are handmade to your specific well, to the specification of the bike, I guess, in that respect. Ah, now then, there's the first point there. There's a dirty great big chunk out of that. Now that's not good, is it? That's really bad. This was 480 quid and the first panel that comes out has got a bloody great gouge out of there. So that's, that's not great, is it really? And that's an unfortunate one because it's right on that line there as well. Ah, dear. That's, there's another tiny little mark there as well. So this is looking like a slight failure, I have to say, right this minute in time. We'll put that down there and I'll show you some more. I'm hoping it's not all gonna turn out like that, otherwise I'm gonna be bloody devastated. As I said, this is all a bit difficult to get all this out of here. I'm hoping you can see this, because if I go through all this and you can't see the bloody video because I haven't set it up properly, it's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? So this is obviously the front mudguard, which is just as well because I, if you saw the last video, I broke <laughs> the front mudguard taking it off. So, again, with the decals on there, beautiful colour. Slight indiscretion there as well, which is a bit of a shame. That could have happened in the moulding, I guess. Decal looks fine. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah, I can live with that. All right, let's uh, find some more space on the bed for this. Let's stick that over there. Well, I'm going to have to get to the bloody dump and try and find a way of recycling all this up because as you can see there's a fair bit now this is probably the tank cover now you don't have to get the tank cover and it is cheaper if you don't get the tank cover if you just want the panels as in the front mud guard and the side panels and the rear cowling as it were you know that bit with the nasty chunk ripped out of the bloody middle of it I don't know what that Here's an infill maybe for the sides. We'll go through that in a minute. Oh, blimey, there's a whole lot of infills here. I think they do actually give you new side infills, as in where the clocks go and everything else. 
I'm pretty sure I'm going to pop them back down in there. I mean, they're, they're just bits of plastic. We won't know how well they fit, obviously, until we need to fit them. Not a clue what that is. Another infill panel. Ugh. I mean, it's just nice that you get them as well, because a lot of these fairing companies, I'm sure, don't actually give them to you. Slight uh, mark on that one there, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. For me, the most important bit is obviously the blue. That's in the bits that are completely trashed on my bike, because if, uh, if they crack, then I've thrown away 500 quid, and hopefully I've saved you from having to do the same. So you could well then end up saving yourself a load of money by my mistake in that respect. So let's have a look at this tank cover. This goes over your existing tank and already. Oh no, that's just marks. Okay, um, just bits of dust. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I can't argue with that. There's no marks on there. What that will do effectively is that will plop over your existing tank um, and that will cover up any indiscretions. I got a feeling that this is the slightly darker blue. Um, I was hoping for the lighter blue. I did choose the lighter option, but I'm not quite sure because I was hoping I could actually use my original tank. I'll show you what I mean. I've got the grab handle from the bike here in the bedroom. Uh, I was hoping it was going to come more this colour so I wouldn't have to use this um, because I don't know how I'm going to fit it, <laughs> to be fair. But as you can see, there are two colours for this blue. There's a lighter one, which is this one here, and then there's this darker one. I did choose the lighter one, but the, what they say is that they don't go by a colour code, per se. They uh, they just do it. Um, it's a bit odd, I think, because I can't see any reason why you wouldn't do a colour code. We'll stick this over here. I'm trying to keep this kind of stuff safe at the moment. Right, now then, I might have to take all this stuff that I've just put in here out because obviously the biggest part of this fairing, I'm sorry, this is a bit of a jamble, guys. Uh, the biggest part of this fairing is going to be the lowers. Okay, they looks like they've uh, already... Oh, okay, so the fairing comes out like that. So fair enough. So this is going to be one of the side panels. Let's get him out and have a little look at this one as well. It must be nice for you guys because you're seeing this exactly the same time as I am. So there's nothing to hide here. It is what it is. And this is exactly as you will get it if you decide to go and buy yourself a fairy for your CBR 1100 Super Blackbird. Oh great, now the phone below your rings. You have to excuse me guys, I can't get to the phone. Typically somebody decides they want to call just as I'm making this video. I hope you can still hear me. We'll stop in a minute because the answer phone will kick in. Bloody typical, isn't it? I should have put it on airplane mode. Lesson learned. We'll let that go to answer phone. There you go. Sorry about that. Right, so this is going to be the right hand panel. Left hand? Left hand panel. Yeah. So the decal's on there. Uh, yeah, it's okay, I guess. I'm hoping there's not any marks on here. There's a little. I mean, these are molded every time fresh. So you're going to get little indiscretions. You can only really see it in the light. There's a little one there. Another little one here, but nothing that I would say, oh my Christ, I can't use that. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And they've already got, I'm assuming this is a heat shield here, um, or sound deadening. I'm not 100% sure, but that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, I'm hoping you can see that. That looks pretty blue and beautiful. All right, let's stick him down there for a minute. Cool, blimey. So, this is going to be obviously... The other panel, he says, getting it out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, bloody hell, it's like Christmas with trepidation because you don't actually know what you're going to get. <laughs> well, you know what you're going to get, you just don't know how nice it's going to be. It's like your parents promising you a mobile phone for Christmas and you hope it's an iPhone <sighs> and you end up with an Outsell. <laughs> so, this is then the... Right hand fairing, yeah, there you go. Beautiful blue, look at that blue, isn't that just stunning? A couple of tiny little pinprick indiscretions again here. Nothing that really worries me. Again, some more of this padding on the inside. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Okay, let's stick this, God, there's so much going on in here. I hope nobody knocks on the door as well, we could be in trouble. This is obviously gonna be the nose cone. Now, this is gonna be interesting because I'm a little bit worried after seeing... Oh, sorry if you can't see anything, guys. Bear with me. This is a bit worrying because after seeing that, um, 
that rear seat cowl fairing and a big chunk out of that. I'm kind of almost expecting that every one of these I open up now is going to have an indiscretion. But so far, it's only the rear seat cowl that's been a bit of a drama. I'm hoping that's going to be the only one. I mean, I've, obviously, I'm going to contact Monster Fairings and say to them, look, what the hell is this? Because it's not a cheap fairing from, well, it's, it's a fairing from China. It's not one of those 500 quid, uh, 300 quid fairings you can find on eBay, which you don't know very much about and could end up being utterly crap and invariably, apparently, according to reports, are pretty crap. I went for the super expensive one and, uh, well, as you saw, that rear seat cowl isn't great, is it? Such a shame because obviously that's the part of the bike you do see quite a lot of. So, last part, let's have a look. The nose cone. The most important bit in a lot of ways because it's the front focal point of the bike, isn't it, in a lot of respects? It looks good. Beautiful colour. Absolutely stunning colour. I mean, if there's anything on these that you see that you think, oh my Christ, that's not the same as mine, or no, that's bloody crap, that's never going to fit, let me know, because obviously I don't know. I haven't taken off the original fairing yet, so I don't know. But it, so far, it looks pretty good. There's a bit of a scuff just here as well. Ah, oh, such a... I don't know if that will come out. Oh no, maybe that will... Yeah, that might polish out, actually. The other one on the seat fairing thing is not going to polish out. There's no bloody way that's coming out. But that, to me... Little indiscretion there, which I think will polish out. That to me looks pretty spot on. Right, I'm going to put all this down on the bed. I'm going to set it up, get rid of this box, and then we'll come back and I'll show you all laid out on the bed, guys. All right. All right, guys, so it's all laid so out on the bed. Me. You saw me unbox it, you saw my thoughts on it, and here it is the left and right side panels for the CBR 1100 Super Blackbird. I think you've got to agree, they're pretty spot on, aren't they? I mean, there's a couple of marks like this, but that's just the packaging there, so that's nothing to worry about. But look at that beautiful, beautiful blue. Even the decals are pretty spot on. We'll just give a little kind of scan over the top of all this and let you see exactly what I'm seeing. There's the nose cone. There is a tiny little mark just there. I don't know if I can, I don't want to trip over myself here, but there's a tiny little mark just here somewhere, which is a real disappointment, um, but I think it will polish out. There's the tank cover. Um, now, as I said, I decided to go for that because I wasn't 100% sure what colour this would come in, whether it would be the dark or the lighter blue, which, as you can see, I'll do that again so you can have a little look. I'll do it with the uh, wing mirror cover. See, as you can see, mine's a lighter blue. This is the darker blue. They said they don't do it by code. Now, what that means is I'm going to have to now spray these. I mean, I took them off because, as you can see, it's got a bit of damage here. So I'm going to sand these back and I'm going to spray them. And I'm also going to have to spray this, but I'm going to have to spray it in the darker blue. But at least now I know what blue to get, because obviously my bike was the lighter blue. Now it will be the slightly darker blue. Or I could just wrap them or paint them black or whatever. I haven't really decided. Love the screen as a free option as well. That's cool. Uh, there's the front mudguard, front bender. There is the damaged rear section, which is such a shame because, as you can see, everything else on here is absolutely spot on. Let me just move this tripod out of the way. I'm trying to stumble around this room and not trip over myself and not break anything because... Uh, I tend to do that. Ooh, let's see if I can find that little bit that we found earlier. I can't remember exactly where... It was. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Pretty spot on, that one, isn't it? I mean, if you can get in there... Let me see if I can uh, focus on that. That's such a shame, isn't it? Now, I don't know if they're going to give me some money back for that. I could do something with it. What I would normally do in that situation is I'd get a, one of those um, little carbon fibre stick-on strips and I'll stick one on each side so it looks like they're supposed to be there <laughs> because I'm not going to try and rub that down and... Oh, what's happened here then? All right, here we go. I'm not going to try and rub that down and spray it myself. This is all brand new stuff, as you can see, laid out on the bed as we zoom up like this. Everything you need. Excuse the rest of the crap in the bedroom, guys. As I said, uh, this is the spare room and I'm just trying to make this up for you. So there it is, 480 quid delivered from China. Now, what I should have done is told them that I was going to do an unboxing and a review on this and they might have actually given me a couple of quid off. If you go to the Monster Fairing site, 
um, and you decide to buy something, look for a discount code. Just Google Monster Fairings discount code. There's always one out there. The average price is 450 to 480 quid. So, you know, don't pay full price. Look for a discount coupon. If you need any help with that, give me a shout. I'm sure I can probably uh, find one for you if need be. Or maybe I'll get a discount from them. I mean, I'll contact Monster Fairings. You never know. They might give me a discount code for my subscribers. If you're interested in that, drop it in the comments. If you like this unboxing, again, drop it in the comments. If it's not really a kind of thing and you think I'm wasting my time, I won't bother, you know, because I've not really done unboxing reviews, that kind of stuff. I did a tool uh, review thing, but that wasn't overly popular, you know. But I'm doing this because it's all part of the CBR Honda Super Blackbird Double X project. And I'm hoping you guys will be interested in this. All right, so that's it. It's unboxed. It's on the bed. It's ready to go on the bike. So the next video will be my first ever time-lapse video of taking off the old fairing and putting this new one on. Now that is going to be bloody interesting. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, then subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like if you would. That really helps. Um, and if you do subscribe, obviously, you'll see what happens to this bad goal and what I do with this fairing and how it looks when it's fitted. All right. So don't forget, subscribe, like, share. Brilliant. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Look out for the new video in yeah, two to three weeks, I would think. All right. Bye bye now.